Looks like we have some awesome updates coming with season three with this recent leaked information. So if you like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video and channel within that all famous YouTube algorithm. Plus it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this. And just hold on, before I get into the news, I need to shout out guys, I'm hosting an award show. Much like Jeff Keighley with the Video Game Awards, I'm doing the Halo Awards. And I'm hosting this award show and creating it because I feel like there's some parts about this Halo community that really need to be highlighted and I think it'd be a fun thing to do. We'll be voting on a few things like best new character, best new weapon, best map in the game, how about best YouTuber, best streamer, best forger, and a whole lot of other categories I think are really necessary to really encapsulate all the Halo community has to offer. So if you'd like to place your vote for this award show, make sure you click in the link in the pinned comment. I will be streaming this award show on December 29th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so make sure you follow me on Twitch, link in the description as well. Now I would really appreciate you guys' participation in this whole thing. I think it'll be a really fun thing to do for the whole community. But let's not waste any more time and get right into those details. Now our favorite Leaky Boy Serasia, if you guys recognize his name, is probably because you've been following this channel long enough, saying there'll be some custom game options coming for Season 3, saying that 343 is expanding the options available for game modes such as adding equipment selection, campaign variants, outline enabling, and more. As you can see, the outline options, you have friendly player outline, enemy player, friendly vehicle, and enemy vehicle as well. This is just straight up fan feedback from, given to 343 about the outlines here and glad to see that 343 is taking it into consideration and giving us the ability to turn these off and on. One, it's going to help out a lot when it comes to especially the machinima community or if you want to help create some excellent game modes that be able to have it so then you can hide in the shadows and stuff like that. This gives a lot more flexibility when it comes to custom game creations, especially with Forge, to be able to really make a game mode that people really want out of their Forge experience. But wait! There's more. So Rachel continues on saying that also seems like 343 will be separating the BR from social and ranked with different stats for both in the game being campaign, social, and ranked. A new bug was found within Forge maps of Halo Infinite that do seem to be kind of, well, a way to completely break the map. This is currently called the blocker jump where it basically allows you to scale vertical surfaces within Halo Infinite by just simply running into a surface, crouching, and then out of that crouch you spread against the wall and you're able to just basically climb up the wall through these invisible jumps it's kind of insane and kind of game breaking and i'm surprised that none of this was actually figured out before the release of any forge map into the matchmaking system for halo infinite you can see right here as basically you run into the wall you crouch sprint and then just keep jumping out of that sprint momentum and you're able just to climb any kind of surface beyond what you're able to do with like simple jump and clamber. Obviously this looks pretty game breaking, so I will keep an eye on this guys. If it does get patched out or if 3 decides to leave it in, we'll kind of have to wait and see. But a simple mechanic like this can absolutely break map flow and break out map design to where they might even have to take out these forge maps if they're not able to figure out how to block this issue or bug right now within the game. Meaning all the new major content drop for the winter update might have to get removed because of this bug. But of course then, we'll keep an eye on it and see what happens guys. Let's we'll see if 343 can fix this up quickly or leave it in the game or have to rework some maps. We'll just have to wait and see. If you want to keep up to date with season three news, but in the meantime, here's Mario 64's castle in Halo Infinite. <laughs> Oh, I saw videos. Yeah. Oh my God, it's ju it's majestic. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely like not queenless. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Okay, you're sniping. I'm going inside then. Oh, I have to. I wait, have hold to on. Wait, wait. Can I fit this inside? Hold on, hold on. Can I fit this? No. <laughs> Kevin, I was gonna try to do the Halo Classic where you fit in vehicle in places where you're not supposed to. Wait, what is this? This is like a. Oh, dude, there's a teleporter pit. What? So you, you know how you go? Oh, it takes you out. Oh my God, he threw things to a freaking teleporter. Oh my God, look at this thing. Going over. I'm so amazed. I don't even have words. There's a pit you could drop down into it and you'll you'll teleport out into a uh, the one of the pipes. I, know, I think this must be a glitch because all the trees are like black. There's a lot of Wait, weird texture I... glitches with the uh, with forge right there. Oh gosh. Oh, they were smart. <laughs> Oh, they put an invisible wall so I couldn't surf up and go around. <laughs> yeah, this, this is actually like top tier for me. This is it's incredible. Really good. Oh my god, I can launch you to the top of the map. There's like some special weapons up here too. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Sorry, you scared me. You actually just <laughs> fucking scared me. 
that Sparrow stairs is gonna be interesting. Oh, sheesh! Oh, game with the rockets. Rockets. <laughs> Kevin, you'll be proud of me. I'm actually playing the campaign now. Nice. I still haven't, I still haven't played the campaign. What are your thoughts on the campaign so far? Um, a lot of side questing. <laughs> True. Let's just say, I've only gotten through, like, uh, how did this- No, all get back here. Oh my god. Now with all the side questing, it's definitely the longest Halo game. It took me, like, oh, about yeah. 10 hours to play through it the first time. Uh. Wait, how oh, do you have uh. <laughs> I don't know, someone dropped it and I grabbed it. Ow! <laughs> I just got sniped, Algebraic. <laughs> oh, he. Oh, oh, I thought you teleported away. Me? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Man, it's bringing back so many memories of playing N N64 Mario. It was actually the first Mario game I ever played, was N64 one. No, stop it. Oh, actually, no, never mind. It was Mario Super Mario 3 was the first one I ever played. No. No. Save the streamer. No, you teabag the streamer. Dude, no, why? No, you teabag the streamer. That's what you do. Dude, why? Just get good, I man. Thought we, I thought we had an understanding. I guess I was wrong then. Power items incoming. My trust was misplaced, and for that I apologize. Kevin, get over here. Hey. <laughs> That was a mean. Power have oh god! Oh god, no! Let me teabag him. No, let me. <laughs> no! <laughs> the disrespect. You can kill me now. Oh my god, the disrespect. You can kill me now. I just love how you can teleport with the, the pipes. It's so perfect. No, sad face. Ow. No! Let me kill Kevin. No! Oh my gosh, he's no! one shot. He's one shot. I know, I hate it. I'm so mad. Get down. <laughs> Ow. I have the super weapons, yes! <laughs> no, Kevin. No spawn camping. Spawn camping is bad. I'm not spawning anything. I'm not spawning anything. I'm not spawning anything. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Oh no, Ow. I see what you... Oh no, man! <laughs> you just realized the, the Bulldog is actually a full auto gun? Not gonna lie, it took me a couple, like honestly a couple months of playing to re realize that as well. Wait, it is? Yeah, it's fully auto. You, Since... can, just, you can just hold the Wait, trigger. What? Oh, the, uh, now I'm mad at myself. <laughs>